flow. Today is another phylum that is Nematelvinthus. And for Nematelvinthus, your syllabus includes two terms for the nematoparasite. They are the Ascaris, Lucifoids, and the Metalvaris, Trichinella, Spidelis. These two nematoparasites, which we are going to discuss about. And for today, we are going to discuss about nematode parasite that is Ascaris lumbricoids. So, first of all, they are systematic position. This nematode parasite belongs to phylum nematodentis. Class Chromadoria Order Asca Bidida and Family Asca with the D and Venus Ascaris species is Lumbricoids. This is the systematic position of Ascaris Lumbricoids. This nematelmented Nematode endoparasite is the largest nematode parasite of the world and they are also commonly distributed in different parts of the world that is they are widely distributed and these nematodes are usually infected in the small intestine of human being. This endoparasitic nematoparasite is also inhabited in the small intestine of human being. And next is the structure. For this parasite, they are not hermaphrodite. That is, in case of the platyhelminthes, I have already, I have already told you that that platyhelmin parasites are usually hermaphrodite. That is, male and the female are present in only one organism. That is, in this case. In this case, there is male and the female are usually separated. That is, there is different sexes are different. That they are usually cylindrical, elongated, and white is in color. The female worm is usually long, straight. And then this is the female worm, the baba. And the female worm is always larger than the male worm. Male worm is small and with a cocktail. 
The shell of the mesh is usually curved. This is the middle one. And this is the, the, the line of the body. The female is usually larger than the male and the size of the female parasite is 20 to 49 centimeter long. 20 to 49 centimeters in length and having a diameter of 3 to 6 millimeter and the vulva are usually present. This is the mouth and this is the anal opening. In case of the male, which is shorter than that of the female worm, they have a measurement of 2 to 4 mm in diameter and a length of about 15 to 31 cm. 15 to 31 centimeter in length and their body is white is in color cylindrical elongated and the female one is always greater than the male one and they are usually inhabited in the small intestine of human and what about their egg they have two type of egg one is the fertilized egg and the diameter is the unfertilized egg. This is the fertilized egg. The fertilized egg has been thick body curve, thick covering. This is the fertilized egg and this is the unfertilized egg. This is the unfertilized egg. Figure of fertilized egg. Figure of unfertilized egg. And then this is the figure of female and male ascaris. Lumbricus. So, for this parasite, sexes are separate and the male usually shorter than the female. And they have usually given out both unfertilized and unfertilized egg. The main difference between the fertilized and the unfertilized egg is the fertilized egg is slightly rounded with a thick covering and the unfertilized egg is slightly elongated and the which having uh, their covering is not so much thick when compared with that of the fertilized egg. This is about the structure of Ascaris lumbricoids. Then the next is the life cycle. The life cycle of Ascaris lumbricoids is usually very simple and they are widely distributed life cycle and their egg are present in the soil and it can be lived for 10 years. The egg can be lived for 10 years in the soil. So, it is very dangerous because the soil is very light and that it can contaminate the leafy vegetable as well as it can also contaminate water. It can also contaminate with our hands also. That's why their egg is usually very difficult. And this is commonly found in our environment. Okay, then the male and the female worm are inhabited in the small intestine. So this is the male worm and this is the female worm for example. This is the male worm, this is the female worm which are inhabited in the small intestine. 
this more intestine of human so the male and the female parasites are usually inhabited in the small intestine of human being after fertilization they give out the egg fertilized egg and the unfertilized egg can be give out and the egg are passes along with the passes of the infected person so it has two type of egg one is the fertilized egg this is the fertilized egg and this is the unfertilized egg so this is the fertilized egg and this is the unfertilized then this egg under favorable condition can be effective after 18 days or it can be live up to 10 years in the soil. That's why these eggs are very dangerous and harmful also. Then this egg after 18 days after 18 days a second stage larva is usually formed inside the egg inside the egg the second stage larva infected stage larva infected stage larva is usually present inside the egg and men can get infected when those vegetables, leafy vegetables or those contaminated water which contain such type of the egg then they are usually ingested by ingested by men then after they it reaches to its stomach then a repetitive larva is formed repetitive larva is formed and this deputy form larva these deputy form larva are usually migrate to the liver then from the liver it reaches to the heart then from the heart it reaches to the lungs and from the lungs, it descends to the trachea. And from the trachea, it descends to the it usually swallowed and reaches the stomach and then develop other states in small intestine of human being so there is some you may have some confusion in this area so listen carefully i repeat again about their life cycle the male and the female worm are usually present in the small intestine of human being they are present in the small intestine the male and female male and the female the small intestine 
the small intestine of human being. Then, after fertilization, egg are usually passes along with the facial object infected person. And there are two types of the egg. One is unfertilized and the other is fertilized egg. The difference between the fertilized and unfertilized egg is fertilized egg having round shell and unfertilized egg having slightly elongated and it having thick body covering, thick covering of the outer layer of the world. Then from this, this is all about in the environment. Then this fertilized egg, after 18 days, develop into infective stage larva stage, in which the infective stage larva are present inside the egg. When this egg, which contains infective stage larva, is suddenly swallowed by men through contaminated water or through leafy vegetables, then this egg enters inside the body of human being and they pass it through stomach and this larva here it form a repetitive larva then this repetitive larva penetrates the wall of the small intestine and passes through the blood stream then it migrate to the liver then from the liver it descends to the heart and from the heart, it descends to the lungs. And in the lungs, it occurs third more stages. This is the second stage. This is the second stage. This is the first stage. And the, in the trachea, in, sorry, sorry, in the lung, it forms third more. Third multi stage, that means third stage larva are usually occur in the lungs. After that molting, this lung, this uh, larva usually migrate to the trachea. Then from the trachea is again swallowed and then it descends to stomach, then to the lower, then to the small intestine. Then in the small intestine, it develops into fully developed men and the female worms. These are the life cycle of these Ascaris lumbricoids and the duration is duration of this life cycle is one to two months. If this infected stage egg is entered inside the body of their host and this is the figure of Life cycle of Ascaris lumbricoids. So, these are all about the life cycle. Then, next is the pathogenicity. Pathogenicity means the disease caused by this parasite. The disease caused by this parasite is known as the Ascariasis. Disease caused by this parasite is known as the Ascariasis. There is no symptom or slight pain in the stomach or in the lower abdominal part if there is less number of the nematode present inside the body of the infected person. If their number is increases, then infection or symptom may be um, symptom may be present. The common symptom are the for the Lung. In case of the large number of parasites are present, then the symptom may be bloody sputum, fever, 
abdominal discomfort, abdominal discomfort, and intestinal ulcer when the number of the parasites are abundantly present in the intestine then along with this symptom there may be retriever bowel syndrome or <laughs> if the number of nematode parasites are present in large number in the small intestine, then there will be a disease which is known as the Loeffler syndrome. In this case, when there is large number of the matter parasites are present in the small intestine. A type of the disease is usually occurred, which is known as the Loeffler syndrome. Then, what is Loeffler syndrome? Loeffler syndrome is a disease. It is a. It is a disease. Who is eosinophil accumulate? Ocinophil accumulate in the lungs due to the in response of the parasite infection. Then the symptoms are the irritable bowel syndrome, irritable bowel syndrome, abdominal pain. Abdominal pain, the skin, the skin rashes, as well as difficulty in breathing, difficulty in breathing and read. Mind fever. These are the symptoms of this Loeffler syndrome, which is very serious one for the infection of this Ascaris, that is nematoparasite. Then what about their treatment? Treatment number one. The treatment which use to control Ascaris is called is called ascaricides. Ascari sites. Then the next medication is recommended by recommended by who? World Health Organization especially for these diseases caused by these ascaris. 
and the medication are albendazole, albendazole, then mebendazole, mebendazole, and parental. Lava missile, lava missile, no, and lava missile. These are the some common drugs which is recommended by World Health Organization for the treatment of this ascariasis. And the another is the the other one is the carbon dimidin. Triban, Dimidin, and Nita Jozamide. Nita Jozamide. These medications are usually under the recommendation of World Health Organization. Then this is about the treatment. Then the next is the preventive measures. Sorry, I'm left one of the part of the treatment that is surgery. When Large number of nematodes are present in the intestine and the block the intestine. In that case, surgery is the only best way. Okay. In some cases with severe infestation, in some cases with severe infestation. The worm can cause bowel obstruction. In that case, surgery is done. for removal of the worms. This is the last option of the removal of the worm from the intestine. Then, the next is the preventive measure. Preventive measure number one is the improved sanitation of proper use of toilets. Then, proper hand washing with soap before handling of foods. Then, number three. Number Tata, elimination of use of human untreated faces is fertilizer in the field. Then number four, in area where twenty percent of the population infected, then treating everyone is recommended. 
then treating everyone is recommended then the last point is the point number five point number five the was spill and who all row vegetables from here we are menu is use is fertilizer okay these are the preventing measure of ascaris that causes ascariasis so today we discuss about the structure life cycle pathogenicity that means disease caused by ascaris treatment and the preventive measure that's all